So anyhow, we were out cutting firewood and our phones were ringing, but we couldn't hear them. And we found out afterwards that the president had actually made a statement. And uh, so I waited until I actually heard that myself before I began to celebrate. How did you celebrate? Um, the, the route that TransCanada had proposed was starting off at our northwest corner of our property and cutting diagonally across and going over to the neighbors on the east side of our fence line. And there's a white post out there where we kind of scoped it in. And once, once your land is, has a, the easements that they offer are perpetual easements. They're not 30 year easements or 50 years or 99 year easements. They are life, you know, forever. The easements that TransCanada offered are perpetual. And so that you never, even though you own the property, you never have control of your property again. I, we just couldn't believe it. We were just stunned that there was finally, finally a decision was made after all these years and all the letter writing and because uh, I've been writing Obama and Kerry for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> just had a, a pleasant lunch, just some soup and cheese bread, so. Uh-huh. So, yeah, just just a relief inside that we know that we're not going to get any more nasty letters for another year and a half, maybe. <laughs> it's kind of the opposite of what we felt when the FedEx truck bought the, brought the first uh, threat of condemnation and delivered it. It made you not want to see FedEx come up the driveway anymore <laughs> because it was it was such a downer to get that kind of a, a threat from a, a major company. So 